there are busting videos and there are busting videos. Her husband. We've met before, but something tells me you're going to remember me this time. Whoa. You are so busted. This one is busting the busting meter type stuff. This is genuinely taking it to the next level. Or just knocking it out of the park or knocking it into orbit. This is knocking it into the next dimension. I mean, you remember those videos I made about Fontas, the uh, self-filling water bottle, saying that what it promised wasn't actually possible. Then a few years later, after I've made all those busting videos, they went bust, cause it wasn't possible. Busting level, rank amateur. Grab the popcorn, this one is gold. Which is maybe fitting, because sadly, this will actually be my last video, ever. Because by the end of this video, I'll have been hunted down and slain by one of the meanest Six Sigma Black Dots ever to have walked the earth. But you know, those are the risks you take. The story of my imminent demise starts about the same time that I was busting Fontas. There was this other free water from Air Device, the Water Seer, which I also absolutely raked over the coals because, uh, what's the technical term? Oh yeah, it was all complete crap. Water Seer uses the environment around it to extract water from the atmosphere. The metal sides of the underground chamber are cooled by the surrounding soil. Wind spins a helical turbine, fan blades that direct air into a condensation chamber. As the warmer air cools in the chamber, the water vapor condenses onto the sides. Clean, safe, pure water can be extracted from the reservoir through a simple hose and pump. Because the sides of the underground chamber are always cooler than the air, Water Seer is always collecting water, day and night. Uh, yeah, none of that was possible, but it didn't stop them from raising over a third of a million dollars on Indiegogo. And this was undoubtedly bolstered by the utterly shameless advertising of this fictional and unworkable device as something that would help the poor, starving children of the world. And when you see just how far down the rabbit hole this all goes, you'll see how distasteful it is that people like Indiegogo were promoting this, saying water here condenses pure water from the air without power or chemicals, along with a picture of, of, of poor people in the dirt saying every day more than 9,000 people die from a lack of clean water. Water here is a sustainable solution that provides safe water where people live 24 hours a day without electricity or power. One in three people, more than 2.3 billion, don't have clean, safe drinking water. One in five people around the world, more than 1.2 billion, live in areas of water scarcity. Every day, more than 18,000 people die from a lack of safe drinking water. Poor women and children walk for hours every day to collect the water that they need to live. It's so philanthropic. I mean, just look at those poor people struggling to get their water out of puddles. After walking for hours along remote trails, they fill their containers with 40 pounds of water and carry it back to their village along the same dangerous track, often with young children in tow. And even though it's trivial to show that none of this is possible, that didn't actually stop them from getting the University of California Berkeley Engineering School involved with this. And so we have students that are um, both working with the Satarja Center as well as the Jacobs Institute for Design. We're testing the boundaries of what you can actually achieve and in a practical sense of being able to take water out of this, um, uh, this type of atmosphere. Half in the Jacobs Institute have been really hands-on involved with helping the students think through both the conceptual questions about the design as well as concrete fabrication. And they actually had students there have a competition to show how this device could work. You see, sadly, water from air devices have existed for some time. They're called dehumidifiers. And the response of the Berkeley students, this is one of the world's top universities to being asked to design this dehumidifier with a silly name was, how should we say, disappointing. You know, getting water from the air is the purest form of water that you can get. The project is in itself a very profound um, 
impactful solution to many people around the world who don't have clean, accessible water. Being able to know how to uh, take this idea and make it into a reality, the idea process was the most challenging. Which was kind of cute because you could go through some pretty basic thermodynamics calculations and show that actually it was a really stupid idea. Oddly enough, after I pointed that out, Berkeley quietly changed their webpage to make it clear that they didn't endorse the claims made by uh, other people about these devices. Disclaimer, Sutaja Center Collider projects are academic exercises executed with the goal of helping students gain experience with real world industry problems. The Sutaja Center Berkeley Engineering and UC Regents do not necessarily claim to support the efficacy or claims made by any industrial partner of their projects. Under optimal conditions, a single water seer may collect as much as 37 litres of clean, fresh water every day. So after I made a few busting videos on this a few years ago, I let it be. Because all you got to do at that point is sit back, put your feet up, grab a beer and see if they're idiots. In which case they'll happily work away until they work out that uh, actually it might not be possible. And or if they're scammers, in which case they'll simply vanish off the face of the earth with all the cash. So here we are on the Indiegogo campaign page for Waterseer, uh, which raised about a third of a million dollars back in late 2016. Ha, huh, their page seems to have changed a little. Not quite the uh, digital mushrooms anymore. It seems different somehow, um, but we'll come back to that. Let's see what the uh, backers are saying now. Where is my device or my refund? One month ago, two months ago, crooks. These charlatans have ignored our refund request and continue to promise units. It's been three years, folks. There are numerous videos on YouTube proving this device is a scam and does not work as was advertised. I filed a report with the FTC. I urge you all to do the same. I will be speaking with a DHS fraud investigator in a few weeks to review the proof I have compiled over the last year of this company's malfeasance. Well, if you're compiling uh, data, you're about to hit the mother load, boy. I mean, uh, like I was saying, this just knocks it out of the park. You, you, you just can't top what this company is now doing. What, what, what else we got? Everyone, please take a few minutes to report this company for fraud. They're producing units, but not honoring pledges or communicating uh, is why they need to be reported. And so it goes on, I backed late in uh, 2016. I want my unit or a full refund. And every single comment is basically saying, where is my stuff? And apparently that website expired at some point as well. Um, I want my money back, scammers. Where is our device? Please re deliver it or refund our dollars. I need someone to contact me immediately. I paid for the water seer in the first original Indiegogo campaign. That was several years ago. It's now February 2019 and still no unit has been shipped. And yet, and yet, I hear that units are being shipped. Should they not go first to your original backers? Or are you no longer interested in fulfilling the original orders for the mere $134 we paid for them, as you are now selling them for over a $1,000? Ha! Interesting. And it just goes on and on and oh, here we go. And finally, uh, six months ago, there are actually some some comments from the project owner. Where is my product? More than two years now. Is uh, really fraud and stolen our money. To which the project owner replies, Waterseer is not a scam and is, in fact, an award-winning startup. Google, Cativa, uh, Chamber of Commerce, whatever the Chamber of Commerce is, uh, the Water Seer Sonoma is a brand new product. The sheer balls on the amount of lies these people are telling here. There is nothing like it on the market. 
not entirely true, as you'll see in a moment. The only delays have been for technical refinements to improve sustainability. Like I was saying, this just blows the mind in how dishonest this is. Um, we began shipping Sonoma, the first commercial water seer unit in July 2018, and shipping units as soon as they are completed. So yeah, there don't seem to be a lot of uh, happy campers getting their water seers. Now, I've been busting free water from air devices so many times that I've lost track. So let me quickly summarize why it's not possible. If you've got water in the gas phase and want to turn it into the liquid, you've got to take all the energy out of that system for all the hydrogen bonds that form when it goes from gas to liquid, which is a huge amount of energy. There's no way around it. There are no shortcuts. You cannot cheat the laws of thermodynamics. You start with gaseous water and want to end up with liquid water. You've got to take that energy out. It's something which it turns out at best makes it something like 10 times the cost of the next most expensive way of making drinking water, which is reverse osmosis. And add to that, that's 10 times under the most favorable conditions. Add unfavorable conditions, and you can happily go hundreds, thousands times more expensive than, say, for instance, just buying water halfway across the country, say, in Denver, putting it in a tanker truck and shipping it all the way to California. Yay! Making water 100 times more expensive. That's just what the poor, starving people in Africa need. Basically, Waters' original design was impossible because in most places it just wouldn't condense any water at all. And even in the most favorable places where it could condense water, where it was maybe humid or something and there was lots of water anyway, condensing the water underground would just heat up the ground and the device would stop working. The calculations are trivial to do. Anyway, Waterseer had an interesting few months, during which time they tried to prove that the impossible was actually fairly easy to do. Yeah, guess how that worked out for them. And eventually, they ended up with this monstrosity, which, I kid you not, was basically a dehumidifier, a regular Peltier device, thermoelectric type dehumidifier. The sort of thing you can buy on Amazon for, I don't know, 50 bucks or something. Yeah, that, that's it there, the Peltier device between the two heat sinks. And yes, Peltier devices are really bottom of the barrel in terms of efficiency for dehumidifiers. And they even put this video up showing the amazing progress they've made. I mean, wow, look, they've got a 3D printer and they've used it to invent the tube. Oh, gosh, I, I can feel that $300,000 they've raised on Indiegogo going to good use. And and yeah, it's not quite the uh, power-free version that was promised on Indiegogo. It's just like a regular dehumidifier. It sucks up power like crazy. They've discovered the hole. Poor starving children in Africa, your suffering is almost over because they briefly had this device listed on their website for about a thousand dollars. That's over 10 times the cost of the device they originally pitched. And that would be 10 times more expensive than just say, for instance, buying a regular Peltier dehumidifier off Amazon. Huh, that's a thought. Anyway, at that point, they actually got featured on the BBC. <laughs> Great reporting there, guys. Yeah, after all this, it's not quite as simple as those simple computer-generated mushrooms that just work, is it, guys? And it's like I've said so many times, the hallmark of pseudoscience scams is the digitally rendered artist's impression. Now, after this, and they'd sold none of these things, I kind of figured out they just pocketed the 300000 from Indiegogo and gone home. So I was therefore a little surprised when a few years later, I got this trademark complaint via YouTube. So there's the email from YouTube, and indeed we notify you that we've received a trademark complaint from, uh, who is it, Don Zackerl from Waterseer. And yes, just to check, Don Zackerl from Vicky Labs, the inventor of the Waterseer. And see, let's take a quick look at him whilst we're here, shall we? Hard problems provoke unique innovations. 
Don has led three successful startup companies and held executive leadership positions in commercial, non-profit and government organisations. Don's intellectual curiosity and innovative thinking just count the number of times they come up with innovative uh, thinking. Over 30 plus years of organizational leadership bring the impossible to reality. His quest for precision and passion for excellence is unmatched. He provides our clients with the finest solutions designed to achieve the highest performance. <laughs> he keeps going. Don's deep analytical engineering and business leadership continue to crack open hard problems and achieve innovative breakthrough results. As a result, the companies he has led have consistently and repetitively achieved the highest possible client assessments. Where is my device or my refund? One month ago, two months ago, crooks. And it just goes on and on. All of this adds up to extremely powerful solutions to complex problems. And then he just bangs on about uh, how how wonderful he was in in the military and you know uh, top of everything, absolutely everything in his field. And of course. He's not just a Six Sigma master black belt. He's a lean Six Sigma master black belt. Now it turns out that Six Sigma black belt is funny for all sorts of reasons, but I'll just give you one of them for the moment. It's a sort of business qualification. A Six Sigma process is one in which 99.99966% of all opportunities to produce some feature or part are statistically expected to be free from defects. Everyone, please take a few minutes to report this company for fraud. Might have just a, a little way to go on that one, Don. And if you want to know how truly successful Viki Labs is, uh, well, now let's take a quick look at the other founding partner, Nancy Curtis. Results matter. Nancy strengthens the innovative core to achieve market expansion, revenue growth, and bolster strategic partnership. Okay, let's work on your execu speak. I'm worried about blank. Don't you worry about blank. Let me worry about blank. Over her 25 years, yada, yada, yada. I also would have accepted blank. Blank! You're not looking at the big picture. And of course, he's got this great string of results. Uh, no, almost none of which seem to have any grounding in reality. With this one maybe being the interesting uh, exception, there she is on stage for the Women Who Tech Awards. Now, whether there were only ever 10 women who entered this or whether she actually got to the finals, I'm not entirely certain, but it was actually co-sponsored by Google. Women's Startup Challenge, womenwhotech.com. Let's see how dynamic and innovative this, this uh, great company with these unique, uh, visionary, technically proficient Two people have been over the last, say, oh, I don't know, five years, shall we? And we take a look at their VG Labs page, and it's got some great stock footage of a woman in military uniform with a, I've got an idea from VG Labs. Let's take a look at their blog report, shall we? 2015. Hello, world. That is all. That's it. <laughs> It's their entire, um, and if you take a look at all the other stuff, you find that basically they've done absolutely nothing for the last five years. And just to really demonstrate that, this might need just a little bit of updating. We believe pure water can spark innovation and entrepreneurship in developing countries, working with the Peace Corps Association with other non-profits. Nancy is leading the development of innovative business models for every water seer sold in developed countries to provide water for resorts, gardens and parks. We will provide two for emerging country communities. We transform these communities into hubs of self-reliance and innovation. We invite you to join us on this spectacular journey. So you got that for everyone they sell. They're going to give two to the third world. I don't quite say that anymore though. Interesting how that works. Every time the water seer technology is purchased, a percentage of the proceeds go to provide water seer technology to people in need around the globe. And when someone goes so far out of their way to not specify the percentage that they're giving to a, 
at the third world. I think we can fairly safely say that the actual percentage is 0%. And it's exactly these people who have filed a trademark complaint against me with YouTube. Now, trademarks are basically things that you use to trade with. They're things that identify your products, and therefore a trademark violation is basically, I'm using a trademark very similar to yours to sell a product very similar to yours. Therefore, a trademark violation. Seeing as I'm not actually selling anything here or using their trademark to sell anything, there is no conceivable way this can be a trademark violation. Anyway, so this is what they say. Clarification. For over a year, false, defamatory and fraudulent videos using our registered trademark. That's not actually a trademark violation. And copyrighted material. Again, not a trademark violation. You know, copyright is dealt with under copyright law, trademarks under trademark law, in violation of YouTube's community standards. What the hell are you on? I mean, he's he's registered a trademark violation and now he's going on about copyrighted material and violation of the YouTube community standards. You know, I mean, the YouTube community standards is basically YouTube's business, right? That, that's the conditions for using the YouTube platform. It's got nothing to do with the other two. Anyway, where, where has it got to? Has been posted on YouTube, using it as a platform to aggressively attack and defame us as a company. You, you, you mean point out that all that stuff you promised wasn't actually possible? Harassing actions have included threats of violence. No, a trespass. I mean, geez, what you're describing is criminal activity. I mean, if there really was criminal activity, why haven't you taken this to the police? Rather than, uh, I don't know, why the hell are you filing this as a trademark for infraction with YouTube? Harassing emails? Never. And social media attacks on our employees, partners, customers, as well as malicious alterations of our trademarks and copyrighted material. What the hell are you on? But so I just ignored that at the time, but thought, hang on, this is a little funny. Let's take another look at what Watersea is doing, shall we? And that more or less brings us up to date. So quick summary, they raised a third of a million dollars to, to create an impossible device. Had a very lackluster attempt at creating a dehumidifier of their own, which failed utterly. And now, miraculously, They've managed to get a working product that they're actually selling. Ooh, the plot thickens. And wow, oddly enough, they seem to have ditched all that silly hole in the ground stuff. Now it just sits on the surface. It's sleek, elegant design, which now costs over $1,300. <laughs> That's a pretty expensive piece of hardware. But they've got captions like, the beautiful Sonoma 19 water seer starts production better performance, stronger construction, flawless appearance. Well, that's some strong marketing BS there. It would be really embarrassing if I would say, oh, I don't know, one of the cheapest Walmart dehumidifiers you could buy in a plastic tube. But no, 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 no it couldn't be that simple. Because these things cost over $1,300 each. They must have put some serious research and development into these things. After all, water seer is protected by multiple intellectual property patents. And of course, trade secrets. Gotta be lots of trade secrets in this. Then I came across a video of this thing actually working. A Green Life Food Festival in uh, Pasadena at the uh, Shumi America uh, <laughs> Spiritual Center, demonstrating the water seer technology, which is an atmospheric water generator. There's the, that's their logo, and then this is the actual unit itself. And I'm like, a. Uh... Wow, that's an interesting display. A rather characteristic display that doesn't really seem in place on something that's just pulling water out of the air in the open. And if there's one thing I know for absolute certain, it's the clowns that tried to make an impossible device and ended up turning this into this in the level where they're going to make buttons like this. You know, it's just that it starts to look like a Oh, I'd know, a, a commercial dehumidifier in a tube. 
You know, it's that unique looking display. But literally, after seconds on Amazon, I couldn't actually find anything. But about a minute later, I came across this guy. Wow, that's starting to look uh, kind of familiar. But I can't find a price on it. But at least I now have a name for the device. The Art Dow 50 Pint Dehumidifier. So let's just see how the uh, Art Dow 50 Pint Dehumidifier technical specifications square up against the uh, Waterseer trademark Sonoma with all of its trade secrets. So we come down to technical specifications and we find power consumption 360 watts versus 365. That seems very similar to me. Current rating 3.3 amps, 3.3 amps. Capacity six plus gallons per day, which is curiously 50 pints per day. Waterseer is not a scam and is, in fact, an award-winning startup. Google, Cativa, uh, Chamber of Commerce. I wonder what uh, conditions they measured it under. Well, for the uh, Art Doe, they measured it at 86 Fahrenheit and 80% relative humidity. Wow, that's an incredible coincidence. That's almost exactly the same conditions that the water seer measured their water harvesting under. The only delays have been for technical refinements to improve sustainability. Like I was saying, this just blows the mind in how dishonest this is. And of course, if we just sort of zoom in just, just a little bit here, we will see, ha, huh, what do you know? They're starting to look really quite similar, aren't they? Remarkably similar display. And what's that? It's sold at Walmart for $200. And they're selling it to hippies in California for $1,300. <laughs> that is glorious. I mean, let's just ignore the juiciest bit of all, that a revolutionary new water harvesting device it's now actually an, literally an off-the-shelf dehumidifier from Walmart or Amazon. But they're ignoring that. They're then just increasing the price by over 500%, just putting a thousand extra dollars on the price ticket and selling them to hippies in spiritual festivals in California because, yay, water from the air is so green. A Green Life Food Festival in uh, Pasadena. <laughs> Spiritual center. Buying stuff from Walmart and selling it to hippies to make expensive, undrinkable water. Because in case I've not mentioned it, there's one thing in the manual of every dehumidifier. Don't drink the water. But don't worry, Waterseer have thought about this. For a mere $200, Waterseer will sell you something that makes the water that you've gotten drinkable. Sorry, what's that? That's twice as expensive as the same thing that you can buy on Amazon. Or if you're fancy spending a hundred bucks on something interesting from my Amazon store, this suggestion actually came from one of my patrons, uh, Leon, who has an awful lot of good suggestions like this. This is a Wimhurst machine. It's a static generator. And it can put out some pretty decent sparks. If we actually sort of come and zoom up a bit. So this is actually a cheap one. Um, but as you can see, it works pretty well. So I'll leave some links for this on my Amazon affiliate store below. But don't worry, this thing only takes 350 watts, which means if you wanted to run it off a solar array, that would cost you the best part of another thousand dollars, which would be approximately four meters by one meter in size. And of course, that only runs when the sun's up. You want to run it when the sun's down, you need batteries. But just that solar array alone would cover more or less the entire lawn that these people are trying to water. And in order to get that water, they have to cool all of the air down to the dew point. And you're basically using power hungry air conditioners in the Californian air. And of course, it's American made with attention to detail, engineering and crafted in the USA. Here at Water Seer Inc, we take great pride in making sure our products bring water over its entire life cycle. 
purchase a water seer Sonoma. If only there were some actual videos, say on uh, Amazon, of these things actually being made. Like, uh, okay, this, this is this is kind of fun. Wow, that that's odd. Those, those don't look like very American workers. It it's almost like they're, they're made in China or something. But no, that that couldn't be. You know, I'm, I'm sure at the end we'll get the headquarters with American... Are those American flags? They, 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 they look very red for American flags, but I, I'm sure they're made with pride in America. Or, of course, you can run it off-grid, where at best it pulls 50 pints per day. Well, we'll stick with the US units here. It's about six gallons per day, and, and if you go through the electricity costs, it'll cost you about a dollar. Meanwhile, drinking water in California is currently about 300 gallons per dollar. So at best, it's 50 times more expensive to run this Walmart dehumidifier to get your water. Uh, probably nearer to one to 200 times more expensive. You know, when you take into account that it's not that humid or it's too hot or whatever. Even funnier, they've actually got a video of some guy, presumably before he got his electricity bill, saying that he's using two of these water sieves to grow lettuces. So to date, uh, we've been running a water sear for about 10 days, three vertical lettuce growing systems. And to date, the water sears are providing all the water we need to run those three systems. They're producing about seven gallons of water per day each so i'm getting about 14 gallons of well let's see a head of lettuce weighs about a pound and to grow a pound of lettuce takes about 26 gallons of water so optimistically just his electricity costs to get that water are four dollars per head of lettuce and what's the farm price of lettuce about 30 cents it's like coming up with this great new idea of green gasoline. It only costs a hundred times, yeah, five hundred dollars per gallon. <laughs> and of course, not telling anyone that uh, actually it's just regular gasoline that you purchased earlier from Walmart. But hey, look, idiots using 3D printers, yay! So with that, let's take a look at the new fancy remade water seer commercial. Because if there's one thing I've learned. You should never read the small print on the order pages for these uh, flashy video promotions. You know, to feed the world with miracle water from air devices. What? You want a refund? But of course, you're not going to want that immediately. You're still young and optimistic. What? It's been over a month and you've still received nothing? Well, you, you can get a refund, but you're only going to get half of your money back. Uh, maybe you should just wait for your order to be fulfilled. What? It's been two months and you've still received nothing. Well, we'll still give you a refund. It's just we're going to keep 75% of the money for doing absolutely nothing for two months. And this policy went into effect on the 3rd of April 2017. You know, about six months after their Kickstarter raised a third of a million dollars. And about the same time... Oh, whoa, what's that? Did you hear something then? It sounded kind of like a... A Six Sigma black belt trying to get through my door or something. That can't be. I I need a one lean Six Sigma black belt and he's not the sort of guy who would subscribe to my channel. Huh. Seems to have stopped. Ah oh, well. Maybe nothing. Anyway, the other reason I know it couldn't be them is because they were very clear about how they would deal with, um, trolls. <laughs> Buckle up, Dorothy. The next dimension might not be quite enough for this one. In fact, maybe some more friendly advice. Put down on this, son. It helps. I know. A word on trolls. Developing Water Seer Sonoma 2018 has been an amazing and rewarding experience. Access to clean water is a worldwide crisis. This urgent problem and amazing people and organizations working on a solution continue to inspire us. However, not everyone believes in this mission, and you may have seen some on the internet. Trolls on Facebook, YouTube, and other social media outlets. Where is my device or my refund? One month ago, two months ago, crooks! In addition to publishing, defaming, uninformed, and fraudulent, trolls have made death threats, trespassed on our offices, sought physical confrontation, initiated cyber attacks, and worse. For you, 
It's just mystifying it to us why an effort to develop a solution to the water crisis would generate such hate and hostility. Our legal advisors and mentors have told us that this is the flip side of taking on great challenges with daring, disruptive solutions. <laughs> Apparently, some people enjoy living in the dark and cursing their candle lighters. So far, we've chosen not to respond directly. We're told this encourages troll-like behavior and is what they want most, which is greater attention to themselves. We think our energy and resources are better focused on developing water seer technology and deploying it to the world. This amazing journey is not for the timid. We want future generations to wonder why people got water any other way. We intend to change lives for the better around the world in ways they cannot imagine today. What have we done about it? We take threats, defamation, harassment, and bullying very seriously and have reported threatening and potentially illegal activities to the police, as well as taken administrative action when necessary. As a result, some trolls have been removed from social media websites while other action is pending. We are not in the business to combat trolls, but to bring the world water security and water independence. We prefer that our performance, our mission, and our character ultimately answer all questions. Wow, that's a little weird. That sounds like someone upstairs is having their apartment broken into. I really do hope there's not a, a real Six Sigma black belt hunting me. Hell, almost the only way I could defend myself would to become one myself, but I know what you're thinking. That's going to take years of training and studying. Oh, this looks good. Third party, independent, lean, Six Sigma certification. I wonder if I can get a, get a black belt from this, this company that has lots of stock photos of people. I'm sure this will require lots of training. Black belt certification. Oh, I'm going to be a real professional when I get this. Uh, requirements. There is no prerequisite required in order to sit the lean Six Sigma black belt exam. Yada, yada, yada. Purchase a black belt exam voucher for $400 through the links below. Preparation. For those who wish to sit the exam, it's recommended but not required that Lean Six Sigma training is obtained through a qualified instructor. Uh, it's also recommended, although not required, that those sitting the exam have some degree of real world Lean Six Sigma world experience and project application experience. And in order to get this, I've got to get 580 points out of 750 points. Okay, let, let's, let's do this. There it is. All I need to do is pay the money. And how do I do the exam? Conduct the exam directly on your computer from the comfort of your own home or office 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. Oh yes, that's, that's a professional qualification there. What's that? That's a hole being drilled in the roof. My God, there, there, there's something coming through it. It's utterly unbelievable. It's like a, a sort of flying mushroom with a, with a black belt on. That's incredible. It's starting to turn the air into water. Ooh, that looks, that looks nice and cool and refreshing. I wonder what it tastes like. Mmm, oh, bug. Oh, I hope that thing's got an off switch. The water's getting really quite high now. I, 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 I regret my belief in science. I must have tried and killed it. I can't